So there is a big question in portrait photography, is zooms better or primes? So me and my friend Mitch right here, we actually went out and shot a portrait battle where I was shooting on zooms and Mitch was shooting on prime lenses. We wanted to see what the difference is between the autofocus, the sharpness, and the bokeh, between a zoom lens and a prime lens. So let's just jump right into it. So we each had five minutes to complete this challenge. Mitch was shooting on the prime lenses while I was shooting on the 24 to 70 zoom lens. Massive shout out to Ali for coming along and modeling for us today. She's awesome. All right. Who's gonna go first? Hey, for scissors, rock. Oh. Alright, you choose. I Ready? choose? Yeah. I'll go second. Alright, well, I'm gonna go first. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay, time to start. I yeah. can change lenses, right? Yeah, yeah. you can change lenses. Okay, okay, yeah. okay cool. Alright, we'll start with you sitting, maybe like leaning in here. Can I maybe get you to do the same thing? Maybe put one foot up like this. That's cool. Yeah. Love that. I'm shooting at 1.4 for maximum depth of field. The main benefit of a prime lens over a zoom lens is that wider open aperture. This will get you that really dreamy bokeh behind the subject and more subject separation. This is also very important for low light settings. There's a massive difference between 1.4 and 2.8 when you're taking photos and videos in low light situations. I might quickly change lenses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm use the um, let's come over here. Prime lenses are one focal length, so the most common you'll find are 24, 35, 50 and 85 millimeter, which Mitch is shooting on right now. So you really have to think about the focal length and your intentions and what focal length you want to use in different situations. This will enable you to have to move around a lot more compared to zooms where you can kind of stand there and zoom in and out. I like this, but the people keep <laughs> walking through the background. Yeah, this this will be good. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What's our time, man? One minute nineteen. One minute nineteen. One minute nineteen, much? All right. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy. Um, do you want to come out in the middle here? where the sun is. Yeah, this looks, whoa, so blown out. Okay, maybe a bit strong. Let's come over this way a little. So, oh, that's perfect, right there. Come back a little and one step backwards. Perfect, oh, actually, <laughs> go this way a little. Keep going, keep going. 30 seconds. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, stop there. That's <laughs> good, that's good. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands out. How do you think you went, Mitch? I think I did pretty good. I started off on the 24 and I couldn't find a really good composition that I liked. I got a few okay shots, but when I switched to the 85, I feel like most of the photos that I got from that lens turned out really good. I definitely get way more separation from the background on the 85. Not only is the focal length a little bit longer, but you also get that extra aperture at 1.4. Why do you prefer primes over zooms for portrait photography? Mainly the reason why I prefer shooting on primes for portraits, definitely because of that added separation from the background and just the versatility of being able to choose different apertures. You're not limited to like 2.8 or 3.5. I found that when you shoot with a zoom lens, you go and stand somewhere and then you adjust your framing with the zoom. Whereas with primes, you pick the focal length first and then you just move your feet to the correct position so you get the framing that you want. Let's start. Yep, starting. I'll be shooting on the 24 to 70 the whole time. Uh, Ali, do you want to just come over here? If you can try find like a patch where, like if you're looking this way and you can see like your shadow, like the back of your head, you can see the shadow. So if you stand over here, keep walking till you see the shadow. Yeah, right there. See how you can see your head in the shadow? Yeah. Yeah, that means just a little bit of lights on the back of your head. Yeah, this is awesome. The main advantage of zoom lenses, especially the 24 to 70, is the versatility. You can quickly switch between all the different focal range and find which one that you reckon is the best for the different shooting situation that you're shooting in. 
Cool. Should we get one of you just like walking and then if you just like kind of strut along and then just kind of like look back at me like that? Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, when you're ready. And just look right back at me. Okay, let's jump over here. Oh, yeah. Do you want to just lean like, you could lean like against like that. And then, yeah, yeah, that looks cute. I love these photos. Yeah, sick. And do you want to give me like a, do you know like what a dimple smile is? Yeah, there we go, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Awesome. Sweet, let's jump over onto this rock. Do you want to just like lean, lean up against there? <laughs> yeah, I love that. The only complaint I have with zoom lenses is at the wider end. You don't get as much bokeh as you do on a 24mm prime lens. So I think only a 24 to 70 and a 24 or a 35mm prime lens. Okay, I think I'm done. I might get a quick video. Three, one. Stop. <laughs> Would I get in trouble for that? I really enjoyed the photos that I took from 30 and the 50 mil. Those were my, one of my favorites, but I really enjoyed some of them that, that I got right at 70 mil. But looking at your photos, there's like a massive difference between 70 and 85 at 1.4. Yeah. At 70 mil on the 24 to 70, you do get a lot of separation and it looks really good. Mm. But at 24, you do lose a lot of bokeh. Mm. But I really love using the 24 to 70 because you can get a bunch of different shots within a couple of seconds. So I can go like, oh, I don't like 24, so I can go straight to 50. Yeah. Like what, what you're saying with the time and changing between lenses. Like I can't do that at a wedding. That's why I just shoot on 24 to 70 and 70 to 100 pretty much the whole wedding. Like sometimes I'll put a 35 or a 24 on for the portrait session, but that's about it. Mm. So in conclusion, there's not a massive difference between autofocus and sharpness of zooms and primes. No. Nowadays, I think traditionally prime lenses were a lot sharper and had a lot faster autofocus, but now what Sigma's done with the 24 to 70, it's not a massive difference. Yeah, think? yeah, I agree. And also back in the day, the prime lenses used to be really small and compact. Like if you've ever seen a film camera, they've often got like a 50 millimeter and it's like that big. So guys, that wraps up today's video. Uh, make sure you go check, check out Mitch's channel. He runs a pretty wild YouTube channel and his Instagram is on fire. So, and also check out his presets. That's it for today, guys. And we'll see you next one. See you guys.